what are some of the kind of myths in education that stand in the way of someone choosing acting? Grades. Grades are always the biggest piece. Yeah. I will tell you, you know, there's this scene from this movie that I always go back to in my head, Tommy Boy, you know, back in the 90s. It's a it's a comedy with Chris Farley and he taught he's trying to sell brake pads hmm. for his dad's company. And the guy's saying, but you don't have your guarantee on the box. And he's like, but you don't need to have a guarantee because you know what's inside is never going to break. I, I'll back up. I, you know, it's my word. I'll back it up. And he's like, but the guarantee is not on the box. And that's exactly how I would describe selling to somebody who's not ready to give up a grade. Mm. They need to see the grade in order to understand that their child is progressing academically. Mm -hmm. We spend less time on academics. We spend more time on that social emotional human being. And so convincing them is, doesn't work. Right. I, you know, I learned that <laughs> my first couple of years, you know, don't try to convince them. Mm -hmm. They either know that this is going to be hard and they have to let go of the grade aspect mm -hmm. or they aren't ready to embrace this yet. Mm -hmm. And I'll, and I've gotten better about saying that mm -hmm. it's difficult. If I see this child and I think they're going to be so amazing and the, but the parents not quite ready for the journey Sometimes I have to say, I don't think we're quite ready yet. Mm. Here's some books I recommend you read. Yeah. Yeah. You know, here's a couple, here's a podcast you can listen to. Here's an audio book you can listen to. But it's, it's, the grade is the biggest thing that stands in the way mm -hmm. is how do we measure success in a child if we're not telling them they're an A, B, or C? And I think, <laughs> wow, like that's actually, the worst thing we could do to a child is telling them you're rated here, here, or here. And by me, the adult. Right, right. And then I look at what does that develop into? Mm -hmm. I see this generation of 20 something year olds that's wandering the world and <laughs> they're, they're not sure what they want to do. Yeah, and yeah. They're not sure what they even enjoy because nobody told them what to enjoy. Yeah. And instead of waiting for the answer, it, it's really, it's really difficult, really difficult. And so that's where I unsell as much as I can. It doesn't mean at the end, I can't print out a transcript. Of course I can. Mm. Sure. I can, you know, you're going to transfer to this school. You need this to go with you. Sure. You can have a transcript, mm. but that doesn't matter at the end of the day. It just, it just doesn't matter. Mm. It's, it's, it's one way I think we actually hold hold children back right it is by giving them this rating scale by an adult of right. like you're just not worthy yet like, <laughs> like what do you mean like how do you give a first grader a c right you right. know like it just it never made sense to me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is the agentic schools vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.